Okay. Oh, there's plenty of stuff to do. Pil Pilgrim. Okay. What's uh, going on around here? Oh, this? We've been prepping for battle with, with Colony 5 and Colony 30 or, or whoever. But you know you don't really need to fight them anymore, right? Maybe so, but we still have enemies, don't we? Gotta prepare for the worst eventualities. Ultimately, I'm still doing pretty much the same as I, as I always do. Beats sitting, beat sitting around on my ass. Sure. The autolabs are, are, the, are key to Lambda's defense. Make sure they're ready to deploy at a moment's notice. I know, I know. Sparks, chill out a bit. Shouldn't we really get on with inv investigating what to do should Kevis decide to use their new weapon against Lambda? Relax, Tan's lot managed to destroy it. We won't need to worry about Lambda going the, the way of the Orion Mountains. So Koji came up with some scheme to, to, to mine, mine out more ether. Just where would we be without Koji? He's also the one who's been putting pressure on Commander Eastward, right? Oh, there's a lot of conversations around. I've been wanting to get my hands on, on one last cor uh, fortune cl clover, but I'm not sure I can get one. Ah! Just go for it, I'd say. Either way, you'll need to have luck and fate on your side. Man, there's a lot of conversations to be had. I heard Orsolio went down. You were acquainted with her? Yeah, of course. Fought her in skirmishes a couple of times. Colony 5 was a pretty tough adversary, and Orsolio was one of their strongest. I don't know anything about her final moments. She might have been a, a bitter enemy, but it's still sad she's gone. Okay. We've been mining tons of ether out, it seems. Yeah, with all that energy at our, at our disposal, we've got nothing to worry about. If anything, it feels like we have more of it than, than we know what to do with. But hey, it's better than the alternative. Sure. Any conversations down here? No. There is another one up here. Hey, by the way, do you know anything about what Baron's working on? I don't, but I hope it's something to, to stand in for the autolevs, though. For sure, our defenses could definitely use some shoring up. Okay. Man, there, that's a lot of conversations. Oh boy. But what if the enemy pushed us back to, to here in, in a column formation? That would just result in a deadlock. However, if we hit our soldiers in Lambdas for honest, we'd be able to cause some chaos at least. Is there anyone to talk to up here? No. Oh, fuck. Thought I made it. I didn't. How'd I miss you, Tonya? Here at Lambda, all the teams consult each other for approval before acting. We're led on the basis of clear principles. That's what allows us to grow, grow as a strong, powerful colony. Sure. I, I'll, I'm gonna have the, the, the just the, the straight up conversations. Then I'll do the quests. The the collectopedia cards have really changed. Indeed, you can now offer others presents or use them for other people's benefit. A significant expansion of their purposes. Alexandria and her people did mention it, but seeing it in action really drives it home. It it never used to work like this before. So yeah. Destroying the flame clocks has led to a gradual change in people's attitudes, I suppose. They now want to help others, foster friendships, and they're using the cards to achieve those things. That's actually kind of nice for change. Yeah, it's cool to know that know that what we're doing is making lives better. Nice to see all, all these little things add, adding up, isn't it? Right? Many a mickle makes, uh, makes... It makes a good positive change. 
and it's thanks to us, you guys. Let's give let's give ourselves a, a pat on the back. Oh, this is a, gonna be a, a tough day for talking. So these Orion Mountains, to be honest, I kind of expected them to be a little more mountainous. Yeah, it makes you wonder what, whether someone mis misnamed the place. Approximately half of the formation has been lost to annihilation events. Kevis Castle's annihilator made a dent too, adding insult to injury. Wow, thanks for the reminder, mate. I don't really want to think too long about, about that, that snuffing doomsday device. Truth, truthfully, neither do I. Makes you wonder, though. Do you think one day the entire world could just go up in smoke like that? Not in our lifetimes, I don't think, but maybe decades or even centuries after we're gone. It's probably unavo un unavoidable, isn't it? Yeah. That's like the deep, deep future. I don't think my brain can take me that far. Well, we're still fine, but the lot that comes after, ages and ages after, they'll be kind of snuffed, huh? M almost definitely. It might seem like like that's nothing to, to do with us, but that but that isn't quite right. What we do matters. I'm with you. Can't just look, can't just look the other way. Pretend we don't see the effects of our actions, even if it makes you feel bad. Oh, you're capable of feeling bad? I should mark my calendar. I'm being vulnerable here, you ass. Get the spark out of here with your cheap shots. Oh. <laughs> Say, those Autolev Majiggers are pretty nifty, eh? Colony Lambda was once defeated by Colony 13 owing to their special tactics. Commander Isard m must have been deterred from fighting head on and requested them from the castle. The autonomous, the autonomous Levnesses, you mean? Yes, historically the colony has performed admirably. That must have co contributed to the, to the request being granted. The commander then used the Levnesses and prevailed over Colony 13. And they remain garrisoned at Lambda. If they work without needing a de dedicated pilot, that in itself is, is already a big help. And now, for, for some reason... And now, for some reason, they're all down in the tunnels. They do have the advantage of safely operating in places which, could, which would otherwise be dangerous for humans. Well then, massive kudos to whoever came up with the idea. Indeed, I'm sure Commander Eastard figured out this particular usage scenario very quickly. Yeah, well, I gotta say, I'd prefer not to ha not to have to fight them, fight them again. As far as I'm concerned, I'd be much happier if those mutters just stuck to mining rocks. I heard a lot about the strength of the leadership at Colony Lambda. Care to comment, Tyon? Of course. Commander Eastward has collected the cream of the crop under his command. One of, one of Lambda's biggest achievements was the strategy of constantly shifting formation to befuddle and demoralize the opponents. That it sure takes some skills. Formations that maintain cohesion while changing form under pre precise orders, they were said to be virtually unmatched wh when it came to large-scale en engagements. Sounds like a far cry from Colony 9, huh? To be fair, we mostly worked in small detachments. I don't remember ever seeing maneuvers on, on that scale. I wonder how it would have gone if Colony 9 went, went up against Lambda. I'm guessing it, it'd, have been, it'd have been a, a bad, bad day out. That's one way to say massacre. Allow me to run a simulation. Colony Lambda is putting up a strong defense. Colony 9 tires themselves out on the assault and is encircled by Colony Lambda forces. Once clustered and immobilized, Colony 9 troops are fired upon by the Autolabs. All Colony 9 troops are cut down on the spot. An another victory for Commander Isert. Mate, I think I'm detecting a bit of bias there. He might be right, though. Seems like a bloke named Varen's working on some kind of pro prototype. Yeah, and everyone's hoping it'll boost... It'll help boost Lambda's defense. I wonder what it could be. Surely not a new type of Autolev. Why don't we just nip along and have a gander? You've got to have some stake in this, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Lambda's defense concer concerns us, too. Let's take a look. Hey, Varen. Have you come to have a nose, nose around at this uh, as well? What are you talking about? So you didn't... So you didn't come to look at the sensor I've developed. What does it do exactly? It reacts to, to enemy signatures. 
This little thing's this little thing's indispensable for, for putting on a nice show of defensive power without having to rely on autolevs. It enables you to spot enemies without expanding manpower. Very clever. I really want to get them installed all, all over the place. I don't suppose you'd be up for helping? Us? Are you sure we can touch them? It won't think we're enemies? No need to worry on that front. They can tell the difference. So it's a bit like Kitty's Autolev. Kitty's Autolev? Yeah. Yeah, go on then. We'll help you out. Great, so the, so the first installation needs doing on the old cliffside way, shall we? Sure. Where is that? Tell me, tell me I have it. Okay, okay, okay. I was concerned there wouldn't be a, a, a fast way to get there. That would have sucked. Old Cliffside Way. I guess this is what this place is called. Someone likes imagination. There aren't actually many roads between Colony Lambda and Mac the Wild Wildwood. Which means that if we don't get people out, out here in the event of an attack, we're in trouble. Yes, you need to fortify this point. If anything were to come through here, you'd have a problem. Right, so let's install one of the sensors around here. Okay, that's cool. No sign of any enemies right now. Let's move on to the next. Next port of call is the Orion Tunnels. Bit. This looks like another place enemy soldiers would like. Installing it right inside the tunnels might not might not be the best idea. Agreed. It would be more it would be more beneficial here where Lambda could reach it at a moment's notice. Around here, yeah. And that's all in place. Is there anywhere else you want want to put one? Let me see. Hold up. Isn't there a waterway around here? There is, but why? It's just that we came out from over there, so what's to stop your enemies from doing the same? Yeah, good point. Let's go and put one over there too, then. Alright. Tell me it's... It's in the bottom section. It's not, it's not gonna be in the bottom section, is it? Oh, it is. Good. Here? Hmm, yeah, here should be okay. If they come via the waterways, it's better to focus on the shoals rather than where the water's deep. In which case, this looks like a suitable place. There are autolevs nearby too. Yes, this seems like, an on, an, like a no-brainer. And lo, our tactician has spoken. What? Surely this is blindingly obvious. Then it's decided. Here it shall go. And that's all of them. Now you just need to keep an eye on them regularly. Right, Colony Lambda's invested so much in its defense that... Huh? Got a message coming in. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. And that's on the old cliffside way? What's happened? Just a little wrinkled. They want me up at, up at old cliffside way. Is the sensor okay? I'm not sure. That's what I'm hoping to find out. We'll go with you. You've come this far already. I'm glad to hear it. Sarge? Did you install this? Uh, yeah? I'm sure you're aware, but Sarge and Tanya heads a, a, an assault troop. They're the best of the best. You cannot put the, these things up without the requisite approval from the top. I'm sorry about this, but you're going to have to take them all down. Oh, what? 
you you engineers are all, all always disrupting the system because you just go on ahead and, and do what you please without ever asking. You don't get to get special treatment, you hear? All requests must be made through the proper channels. Or perhaps... What, you're just gonna back down? You're, you're gonna let her talk to you like that? Oh, shut up, Lance. She's a stickler for the rules. And she doesn't get on with engineering because we work outside those rules. She won't listen to me no matter what I say. But someday Lambda, Lambda might, might be glad to have these sensors. Oh, they're useful, I fully agree, and that's exactly why you need to, to get the proper approvals. Hey, now hold on a minute, Tanya. Captain, is there something I can do for you? Captain Rosh supervises the troops. Sergeant Tanya report, reports into him. R reports in to him? A request just came in from, from the engineers. You weren't, you weren't around, so I approved it in your place. If that's your decision, then of course, then of course, then of course I shan't be the one to gainsay. I'm just trying to make your life easier. Your love, your love of the job is admirable, but admirable, but but being too rigid is a problem in it of its own. Captain, you're too soft. You, if you can't keep the soldiers disciplined, then my word is final. Anyway, everyone's ticked the right the right boxes and got the right stamps, so we can all go home. Thanks for that, Captain. Captain, I'm not done yet. I ask that you stay behind. Oof. I think you're taking this a touch too seriously. What's, what's, what's the drama now? Oh, back to camp. Sorry about all that. Didn't mean to get you all uh, get you caught up in, in it as well. If the captain hadn't come along at that uh, at just that moment, the whole project would have been torn down. That's what happens when you don't get your forms in on time. Even even things that the colony needs have to go through the proper channels, eh? Colony Lambda's ability to enforce order through its regulations has always been one of its strong points. Yet somewhere along the way, it became bogged down in needless protocols. I mean, I get why, why they'd have this approval system. It makes it easy to know who's responsible for what. That sort of leadership can even stand against silver colonies in wartime. But now that they've been released from any, any need to fight, those regulations become shackles, confusing everyone. Colony Lambda is standing at a crossroads right now. Should they change or not? I don't know. Don't, don't, don't ask those things of me. Cool. They say Colony Lambda's been raking in the, the ether lately. Yeah, some bloke called Koji's meant meant to be behind it all. He seems to have pressured the commander personally, which sounds like Koji. They've always had some ether, I thought. They mined it, didn't it? Didn't they? They're saying that there's huge amounts of it now. It takes some skill to produce such results in, in that length of time. Accomplishing something like that in Colony Lambda, that's no small feat. There's so many colonies that never have enough ether, and here's Colony Lambda sitting on a horde of it. They're saying they have too much, even. Can't they share some with the other colonies? Yeah, what's stopping them? How about we ask them ourselves? I'm curious too, let's find out. Cool. Hey, Koji! Hey, what can I do for you? We heard you're doing well f for Ether at the moment. Do you have any ideas how you're going to use it? Ah, oh, you want to know? Yeah, we're sitting on more Ether than, ether than we, coll we can collect. The work's been going better than we could have imagined since, since we perfected the Ether Probe. Uh, that must that must have greatly improved the efficiency of your mining operations. Me and Varin are the mines behind it. We wanted a more effective way to find up to find Ether channels. Not bad. It's done wonders for for our Ether stocks. But yeah, lately lately it's 
It's a bit excessive. What a problem to have, right? Oh no, we have too much ether. How awful. <laughs> if you got too much, why not use it? Okay, let's think about this. Any, any good ideas? Yeah. I suggested that, but it was rejected. It doesn't benefit us. Tolgrim from the survey branch is pretty stubborn about this stuff, so there's not, not much way around it. Okay, let's think about this. Any good ideas? I'm not sure we can just give it away for free. I made a similar suggestion, but the sergeant shot it right down. Then she's an a No, she is an asshole. She's not cruel, but she's very by the book, shall we say. Okay, let's think about this. Any That's dumb. Unless we got some kind of compensation, we'd never get Tolgrim on board, so not to mention cap uh, captains like Sif. If we can hammer out more cr concrete criteria and narrow down the possible recipient colonies, then maybe. We really can't just be sitting on the Seether surplus, like I said. It's a difficult problem, certainly. How about narrowing it down to, to a nearby colony? Colony 30 is pretty close. No, but Colony Tower doesn't need ether. Oh, they could pr probably pay us pay us back for, for ether in, in Levinus Tech. Mate, you're never going to shift that ether at this rate. You need solid justifications if you want to get approval and convince the top brass to, to back you up. If it's not a colony like 30 which can pay us back in kind, we're, we're just not going to get the okay. What an utter faff. Utter, utter faff. I agree. Ideally, I'd like to be able to distribute it more widely, but that's not really my job. And without any bright, any other bright ideas, I think we'll have to settle on, settle for this one. Yeah, I'm the same way. If you can get your your ethers worth, they'll agree to the plan. Yes. What are you thinking? Sell through no pawn. That that would be a good idea, actually. But I'm I'm still I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm thinking like. Because of the approval uh, process, that, that that selling it through Nopon might might be the best way, but uh, ideally, just sharing it freely would be um, the ideal way this would be done. I can't think of much aside from just giving it away, right? If you can't use it all, then what do, what does it matter? If you can get your ethers worth, they'll agree to the plan. Yes. What are you thinking? Sell it through Nopon. There's only one way to ensure that you get a fair price and avoid incurring extra work on your side. And that is... The Nopon who travel with the caravans, you sell through them. There's always demand for ether. Trading trading in it should net plenty of profit. And you have the added benefit of us utilizing the Nopon trade routes. Colonies suffering from ether so shortages are sure to be somewhere in, the, in on their itinerary. Oh yeah. Talk to the Nopon. I'm sure they'll be happy to buy from you. They won't have any, any trouble selling it. That's a great idea, we should do that. This way Lambda gets to sell its ether and ether starved colonies get to buy it from the, from the Nopon. But you're going to need to get some some kind of approval for it, aren't you? Yeah, I'll put the request in. What, just like that? It's better to get to get the ball, the ball rolling straight away. First we have to open talks with the Nopon, the merchants per preferably. We can take care of that if we want. Would you? Of course, no trouble. There's a Nopon trader near the entrance of the colony. Thanks for this. Oh, haven't spoken to you. I oh, know I have. You're a grumpy face. Those sensors Varen set up, are they working alright? Oh, so it's... Oh, so it seems. I'm not convinced they're exactly in the best of spots, though. How do you mean? Well, Mac the Wildwood open, opens out on, onto the upper levels of the Great Falls. In my opinion, that's the kind of place you sh should have been looking at. Okay. Fair enough. What's going on? Why everyone all together? There's something we'd, we'd like to consider purchasing. Me? And what date? Colony Lambda Surplus Ether. Specifically, we'd like you to buy, buy the, col the Ether Colony the ether colony lambda can't use and sell it to, to the other colonies. Intriguing. Ether supply of colony lambda very ample. But it decision of Zoka, so you ask to Zoka. Zoka settling accounts in area at, at moment. Zoka will be around the ruins of Cebu on Urian Trail. She decide whether purchase is go, no go or go go. Okay, we'll ask. Let's 
find this Zoka. Welcome, welcome. Is something is something you want? No, we'd like to discuss a possible biz business deal with you. Zoka much happy to talk business deals. So what friends bring for Zoka to sell? The deal concerns Colony Lambda's Ether. Hmm, Zoka see now. We'd like you to take it as far as possible to as many colonies as uh, many other colonies as possible. That okay with friends? Sell price may be higher if friends keep ether to sells. A lot of colonies are in need, so we so we'd like to entrust entrust it to your best caravan. Ah, Zoka get gist now. It's true that Zoka network of associates spread to many colony. It's not much work if friends only want to sell ether. Much appreciated. Now as as to the specifics. Zoka leave details and price naming to Specky friend. Are you sure that's fair? Zoka happy to buy at asking price of friends. Zoka love nothing more in the world than to sell ether. If you're okay with that, we'd be very grateful. It's most funnest thing for Zoka to sell ether in many place. We're near dead. Koji will be able to, to discuss the finer details of the deal with you. Okay, Zoka go later then. We'll go and report back then. Cool. Did you manage to talk to them? It looks like Zoka's all for it. Great news, thanks. I'm always amazed at how quickly the Nopon caravans can make decisions. Uh, considering we had to trudge all that way to speak with our boss, it wasn't all that quick, really. No, that's still faster than anything gets done in, in Colony Lambda. We're not at war anymore, we need to take care of, of our allies from now on. We can't keep doing things this way. Yeah, I don't know. Lambda has to change. And that time is rapidly approaching. Living like this, tangled up in rules and bureaucracy, it's just not sustainable. One thing at a time, Koji. Yeah, sorry. Thanks anyway. I'll get the ether sorted out as fast sa as fast as I can. Good job, Koji. Koji! Does anyone want to have a conversation now? What's up? Something on your mind? Mm, well, I was just thinking that what Lambda needs is more people who can take swift, decisive action like you guys. I mean, if the, if the colony can't respond to things flexibly, then sooner or later... I know, I know what you mean, but... So it was you guys that helped Koji out, huh? Correct. We had judged that it would be for the best. Sheesh. Well, run it by us next time. We're a little more original in our rules and, and, and regulations around here, you know? It's by following the rules that we build some sol solidarity in the colony, yeah? Ko Koji's as easy, as easily led as he is enthusiastic. I'd prefer it if you didn't take it upon yourself to, to get him worked up like that. Okay, I don't really like the way you said that, but that's fine. Oh, what's this? こうしてみると、コロニーラムダにも活気が戻ってきたように思えないか確かに少し前までとは雰囲気が違うみたい。大きな変化ではないかもしれない。だが着実に何かが変わっている。君たちに出会わなければ移ろうこともなく、自分た
自分のところのコロニーにいたらそうなるよねでもな俺たちだってそういうことに詳しいわけじゃ<笑> they, they don't know how to rest Jesus 何かあるのか太陽いや眉唾な話かもしれないんだが以前ノポンの行商人から温泉なるものがあったあ I knew it I knew that that's what the, where this was going 温泉はいそれは人里離れたところにあり人が近寄れないものがイスルギの休みと何の関係があるのか需要の効果があるとっていた新陳代謝が活性化し血行が促進されるとも<笑>つまり温泉を手に入れればイスルギも休めるというか回復するっていうこと最初に言ったが眉唾かもしれないちらりと聞いた程度だからな太陽あすみません確証もない話をそういうのはなかなか燃えるぞ OK 探そうじゃないか温泉とやろう、right. 私が言うことじゃないけどあんたなら乗らないと思ってた Don't worry about it. そういうことは存外嫌いではないただそうだな君たちの旅を楽しむことはないそれはいいんだけどよディフォーザーコーもどうやってやるんだそういうことならシティの人に聞いてみるっていうのはどうだろう、sure. 私たちだけで考えるよりいいかもしれないねみんなありがとうやるからには全力で探します軍務長任せてください We're going to the city, I guess. Several places in the city. Uh huh. Boomer. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a question. Eh? What's that? We're looking for something called a natural spa? Natural spa, eh? Hmm. Never seen such bounties of nature with my own eyes, I'm sorry to say. Bounties of nature? What, don't you know, don't you know even that? Uh, I guess you, you younglings only know what you know. But if you ask around among, um, among folks, folk, folk my age, you should find someone who can tell you about, all about them. In fact, someone I knew once used to go searching for spas, but they're in elusive spots, never to be found. Spots like... Well, you'd hear about them being in a forest or under a cliff or, or deep in some cave, but nobody could ever find them. I see. Hang on, maybe that old, that old man's been to one. No, maybe he's dead? Don't see him around these days. Might be dead. Okay then. Thanks. Sorry to be sorry to bother you. Sorry I couldn't be more help. No, you've helped a lot. Let's go. I'd like to ask you something. Oh dear, yes? Do you know of something called a natural spa? Never thought I'd hear anyone ask, ask about those ever again. Oh, do you know something? Why yes, of course. People used to talk about spas until the Armus came home. It's a place where you could heal your wounds, warm your spirit, and strengthen your bonds with your fellow man. Whoa, they did all that? But I've never been to one, you see. In fact, they say they all dried up decades ago. Don't they exist anymore? They're not something you'd find just anywhere, and not many here in the city know about them. But there's someone who might? There is. I think if there's anyone who can tell you, it's him. He's called... Give me a minute. We're counting on you, love. If we don't find it, Isard here is going to shrivel and die from stress. Come now, it's really not that severe. Well, it's the man people call the Trivia King. He's got to know what, what you need. Brilliant, thank you. Who the fuck is a Trivia King? What kind of name is that? Trivia King. So, are we gonna... Is there gonna be a quiz? For us to find that... Yeah... Is it gonna be the doctor? 
This is gonna be the doctor. Could you have a moment of your time? What's wrong? They're an emergency? We want some something called a, a natural spa. We were hoping you might know where we can where we can get one. Haha, <laughs> so you want a spa, do you? Do you know something? Sorry, sorry, it's just that I ha hadn't heard anyone talk about one in a good while. That's a quaint pastime and no mistake. But you know, a spa isn't something you just you can just have. It's a pastime? You mean like a hobby? Long ago, ple people used to go to great lengths looking for natural spas. Soldiers tired from war would heal their wounds with their help and come out ready to fight again. I guess you'd say a spa is something you, you, you immerse in. It warms your core and, and soon enough you're better. So our records say. The more we hear about this, the stranger it sounds. You soak your body and it heals? Right. Though I'm sorry to, though I'm sorry to say, over however many decades, they've all but di disappeared. They can disappear? Yup. You can go looking for one, but I wouldn't hold out too much hope if I were you. This has been a great help. A great help. Thank you kindly. So, a rest spot. There is one... This way. Oh, so cute. So, what do we know about natural spas? To, su to summarize, hardly much of anything, except they can heal and restore you. We didn't get the most con concrete info, huh? Nobody's ever, ever even been to one. Look at this poor clod. He's so haggard, I think we're gonna lose him. Just how do I... Oh yeah, you do have dark circles. Yeah. How do I just how do I look to you? One thing's for sure, we're not gonna find one with what we we've got so far. We've no clue where where one could where one actually could be. Like in a forest under a cliff? Yeah, realistically, we can't just blindly search everywhere. But it does sound kinda cool, right? Just soaking your body and somehow healing. Yeah, but soaking in what it it sounds it sounds a lot like a bath. It, it can't just be a bath, right? It is just a bath though. From the way they talked, I, I thought the same, but I've never been, been in a bath that healed my wounds. Maybe it's a question of using the right soap. Sir, I hate to think we've wasted y your time, but if we can't come up with, with, any, with any more results... Huh, I'm grateful for your concern, but honestly I've been enjoying myself. We might not find anything after all our searching, but there's just some, something in all this talk. Just hearing, just hearing that gave my heart a much needed jolt, though that might not be the, the best way to put it. No, I think you have it right. Yeah, I'd be lying if, if I said I didn't care what happens. Let's keep searching for a little bit longer. Let's go ask the bloke the, the people said would know about this whole spa business. What, that Trivia King guy? Or the supposedly dead guy? The report on his of his death could still turn out to have been a mite exaggerated. We don't know whether Trivia King and this dead or not guy are the same person, but it's worth finding out. I know I've said it before, but I've certainly saddled you with a tough task. Ah, enough of that. We're giving your spirits a a, a lift and all that. Once we find this natural spot, we'll chuck you right in. Right in it. <laughs> then you'd better really find it. Where where am I gonna find this person though? Trivia King. Who did the Trivia King? Kotang? What what the hell? What the hell? Where is this person? Hi, Romero. As soon as I'm officially a man, I hope to speak with Garrett once again. Perhaps he'll change his mind and grant my wish to marry Julietta now at last. She has a living family yet. <laughs> I know. I pray they do not break their bond with her. Yeah. I think... No. I think this might work. I think this this is where I need to go. Maybe. No, it isn't. No, no, this isn't. This actually isn't where I wanted to go. Mm. 
No, I wanted to go up. Fuck. Okay. I'm closer. Just go up that ladder then. It's not up that, that ladder. It's up another ladder maybe. What? Oh. Oh, it's actually much easier to get there than, than I was expecting. Oh, I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, can you climb faster maybe? Don't jump. No, it's fine. この爺さんに聞けば温泉の神髄を知れると思ったんじゃね。いや。若い癖に見上げた奴らだ。嫌いじゃない。えっと、温泉について教えてくれるってことかな。うーん。Unclear. わしは若い頃温泉巡りをしていた。それは脳巡った。四つぐらい巡った。わしが一番好きだったのはノルルル温泉だった。その時のわしは腰を痛めていたのだけども、入ったら一発で回復した。すごかった。珍しいと思った
どうもありがとうおっとそうじゃ伝え忘れていたことがあったうん What? 温泉の入り方じゃどれ耳を貸してみろブラススパーツフォーシューサムフィングアブオーリーファウンドいや右側の方からあ、不思議な匂いが漂っているな I thought, I thought it was going to be a landmark because I've clearly been there. But it's not a landmark for some reason. Or、well, a secret location, I think is what, is, is what they call it. But I have been there. I've had to avoid、uh, really strong enemies to get there. But I've defi definitely been there. This is a special location. Why isn't it marked on the map? That I need, do I need to go into the water? That doesn't make sense. I remember being here. The water actually heals you. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Hi? Why do we always have to kill everything? Who am I fighting? Oh, this guy. Okay. Oh, they were constantly being healed. Yeah. That's why, it's, that's why it took so long. Yes. Yes. Are you just gonna throw him in? Man, he talks weird. この湯は確かにどういう感じなんだ暖かくて気持ちがいいな、uh -huh. だからそれ風呂じゃねえか見ろ傷がみるみるうちに塞がっていくへえあの人が言っていたのもあながち間違いではなさそうだねああ入ってしまうと抜け出せなくなりそうだそれじゃあ俺も。Yeah, you, you weren't embarrassed before. Why, why are you embarrassed now? Some... 
That wasn't a problem before. I mean, you I get. You I get. The others I don't. Like, you, where's Yuni? Yuni never had a problem with this. With this. Yep, close and all. どうして僕がこんな目に。<笑> コロニーのためと思っていたが、だいぶこの体に無理をさせていたようだ。Sure. <笑> Yep. Oh yeah, that's true. こういう時の方がずっと強い人だ。それならよかったね、太陽。はあ。きっとこれからも僕たちの力になってくれる。そう。行こう。次の目的のために。ナイス。